Hi Mortgage Heroes, Andy Cruz here in Business Development and this is Monday Mortgage Minute. Welcome back to a new week. Thank you for joining us again. This week we have a couple things happening that we're gonna keep our eyes on. Number one, of course, is gonna be inflation. We're gonna see the PCE number this coming Thursday, and I think that's gonna tell us whether or not some of the most recent Fed actions are going to actually help curb inflation or not. That sentiment is gonna weigh heavy into what happens in all the financial markets. Of course, for a couple of weeks now, we've been waiting to see what's gonna go on in July, what's the Fed going to do. You know, they did this 75 uh, basis point hike back in the middle of June. Now we're seeing, well, what kind of hike are they gonna to bring to us in July? Will it be 75 basis points? Will it only be 50? And then will this week's PCE number actually contribute towards that decision? I think what we're in for right now is a little bit of choppiness when it comes to rates. You're gonna see rates go up one day and down the next and up the next and down the next. That's exactly what we saw last week. Rates went up at the beginning of the week, they came down at the end of the week, and starting this week on Monday, they're back up again. So I think that choppiness is gonna continue. And what we're seeing in the local market is an increase of volume of homes on the market. You're seeing more inventory. I drove past seven houses this weekend alone. Now, whether or not those open houses are moving lots of people through like they were months ago is yet to be seen. There was a little bit more tepid response from buyers right now because the cost of money is so high and whether or not that will actually relate to localized house price reductions has yet to be seen. For now, house prices seem to be holding their highs, but there is a little bit more pressure coming from buyers to get what they're paying for because they're paying top dollar in the market as well as now top dollar for their mortgage. So although we have not yet started to see kind of a leveling off of prices and a, a, a correction as they would say, uh, I think we are gonna see that eventually. I just don't know how steep it's gonna be and how long in the future it's gonna be. The choppiness of mortgage rates of course means certain things for certain people depending on their affordability range and what they're looking for. And then the uh, new homes coming to the market and the amount of inventory that's there now also means something for those same buyers. So if they're making a qualified long-term decision, they're looking for the right house more than they're looking for the right rate and the right house in the right neighborhood for the right time, we can address the rate later. And I think that's what we're gonna see coming into the summer months. The people who are still looking to buy, you're gonna see them look to buy because they're, they're buying no matter what. And the people that are a little bit more tepid or they're gonna be sitting on the sidelines, they, may be, they might be waiting for a greater opportunity to strike at a little bit of a price correction on the house prices. They might be waiting just a, a quick pause to see what mortgage rates do, maybe into the fall even. So I think there's a lot of time left to see all this play out. Uh, but this is gonna be an interesting week for us to see kind of what happens with inflation and how that weighs in to the July decision. Also coming up next week is the 4th of July, so we're going to have a little bit of a short week when it comes to the market news, and I think that's gonna weigh in a little bit on what we expect to happen the week following. I think the week following the 4th of July is really gonna be a week where you're gonna see people return, come back, and kind of sort out what, it, what this all means. We're gonna be ending a quarter. Quarter two is ending June 20th. We're at the midway point through the calendar year, so there's a lot happening kind of all in this little concentrated week to two week period uh, starting today and going into the the first week of July that I think is really gonna determine the course for what the rest of 2022 is gonna look like. So those of you looking to buy a home still, cause you're buying a home no matter what, let us know how we can help you. Reach out to your loan officer, uh, send a message, write a comment, send a DM, so we can know how we can help you win in mortgage and real estate in 2022. Those of you still looking to refinance, take some cash out while the market's at its top, your equity is at its high, let us know how we can help you out. Uh, there will be choppiness in the market when it comes to rates over the next several weeks and probably months ahead, uh, but just wanna make sure you understand that's what's happening. Historically, you look back last several weeks and months, that's that's the way it's been. And I think that until something really, really corrects itself and shows its true colors, we're gonna probably have to just expect that. But let us know that uh, what, what those needs are, as we said in previous videos. Unless you tell us what the need is, we don't know how we can help you. And our solutions to help you, if they mathematically work out, they work out. And if they don't, then they don't. Well, all that being said, thanks again for watching this video. Be sure to share this with people you know, love, and trust. And as always, if we can help you, please reach out, send a comment, send a DM, let us know how we can help you win in mortgage real estate in 2022. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again next week.